Having the source rather than a screenshot for authenticity. Yeah. I don't think this reveals too much though, because like Donald Trump probably doesn't DM people. Just like, in a newly unsealed court document gives us a clue about how the special counsel built the case around Donald Trump. Uh, we're back here at the table with our legal team, starting with uh, you, Caitlin Polance. You have been reading through this. What can you tell us? I have. So we just got this court decision from the D.C. Circuit, the appeals court. It was a case that was under seal. Very curious what it was. And now we know it was a case between the special counsel's office, the people investigating January 6th, and Donald Trump and Twitter. And what happened was in January, the special counsel investigators went to Twitter and they said, we have a search warrant and we would like data and records related to Donald Trump's Twitter account at real Donald Trump. At that time, uh, they didn't comply right away. Twitter had some sort of- Sorry, I, uh, it's, uh, it's madness here, it's chaos. One of, my, one of my buddies is here for a couple hours while exterminators are uh, killing the Black Widow's nest in his house and my mom and dad just walked in and they saw Kaya for the first time in a long time. Last time they saw Kaya, Kaya was like as large as my hand and they're freaking out a little bit. Yeah, a black widow's nest. Three black widow's nests in my friend's house. All right. Special counsel got a search warrant for Trump's Twitter account. Why keep the house? Yeah, you got burned down. Kaya, no jumping. Be a good girl, not a bad girl. Freaking out. She's so excited. Grandparents are here to spoil her. Yeah, she's like, oh, my favorite chew toy is back. Both of my favorite chew toys are back. She's going to she's gonna be a bad girl. Anne, you want to take her? I mean, take her outside. Hey, 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 Kaya, no jumping. Kaya, Down. off. Down. Off. No, 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 wait, Mom. Wait, tell her to sit. This is the command for sit. Yeah, yeah, do a fist. Yeah, good girl. Wait, wait. No, Mom, Mom, take. Okay, take her out to pee, though, first. Please. Yeah. And here, do you want a bag of treats? Here you go. I don't usually let her in the front yard unsupervised without a leash. Okay. Training your family can sometimes be harder than training a dog. No, that's like, I have to. Do a knee up for jumping, not like a kick, but just in the air so they know it's bad. Yeah, I do that. No, no, I, I have already trained my parents. They know. They know how to they know how to deal with her. No, her cat Nick no, mom, Nick's cat is way more of a demon than my dog. Yes, she is a nuclear weapon. Okay. Mom, mom, don't pet her. I promise you you are gonna get scratched. And bit. Hey, there's a cat in my house as well. Well, my friend has a cat. Do not let Kaya near the cat, please. I do not want her to be scarred for permanently by cats. Both physically and literally and figuratively. Why didn't the cat take care of the Black Widows? My friend, it's good that she didn't because they, I mean, Black Widows can kill you. Is Kai still biting? No. Are you going to show us the dog? What do you mean? Every day. This dog is in here with me in this room every day. This is the one time when she's not here. Because she's with my parents. Um, all right. Let's get back to it. Special counsel got a search warrant for Trump's Twitter account. Sort of hiccups. They took a little bit of time. They faced a fine of $350,000 for delaying producing those records. And then why this ended up in court is because the Justice Department didn't want Twitter to tell Donald Trump that they were seeking this information. Oh, and they won that ability not to have Twitter disclose to Donald Trump, the client of Twitter, right, as the mm -hmm. account holder, that this search was going to be taking place of his Twitter account. And the reason is really interesting. It's outlined here in that the court that they went before, the special counsel's office went before, 
believed that there was reasonable grounds uh, to say that if they were to tell Donald Trump they were doing this search on his Twitter account, it could seriously jeopardize the ongoing investigation. He could potentially want to destroy evidence, change patterns of behavior, or, quote, notify Confederates. There's also a footnote in here about how there was a discussion of whether he might flee from prosecution if he knew the search was being discussed. The Justice Department ultimately walked that back, but that was something that the judge also had to look at. Would Donald Trump flee? <laughs> because they wanted to look at his Twitter? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you make of, of this, given your experience uh, as a uh, prosecutor? Well, I was just uh, reading And defense that, attorney. Yeah, just reading that opinion. Uh, my first thought was that it would have been better if Elon Musk had not fired his entire legal team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they might have done better. Okay. They wouldn't the have been fined. Right, they wouldn't have been fined, exactly. <laughs> Uh, it's interesting because Musk says he's an advocate of, you know, absolutist in terms of free speech. And one of their arguments is that they had a right to talk about this. They shouldn't be stopped from talking about it. But the opinion, the, the original court ruling is very sound because there is a procedure for when you ask a court not, a, a recipient of the subpoena not to disclose that information. From an evidentiary standpoint, they're looking for this because ultimately if they need those kinds of tweets as part of their case, they need access to the original tweets. Can, can I ask you a question that perhaps is an ignorant one? What did they need to get from his Twitter account that we all didn't see in public on his Twitter account? Meaning like Twitter is by nature public. Do we know the answer to that yet? I haven't gotten to that part of reading. Okay. <laughs> I assume DMs, right? Like, what do you mean? Like they want his DMs because Trump is extremely online. Um, he's probably too much of a boomer to utilize DMs though. I, I think like, I suspect, I suspect they want to one, uh, look at like, uh, any kind of like location data that they can find whenever he was tweeting, especially as it pertains to, uh, January 6th, like where he was, uh, does it correspond to like the, the, uh, the information that he gave, you know what I mean? They probably want to see his drafts, I assume. But more importantly, they most likely want to see uh they most likely want to see his DMs. Now, the thing is, I don't think that this will uh reveal too much. Having the source rather than a screenshot for authenticity, yeah. I don't think this reveals too much, though, because, like, Donald Trump probably doesn't DM people. Like, he's way too old. He's a big phone guy. Like, he loves having telephone conversations. Um, although he was extremely online and, and certainly tweeted from his phone, like, certainly tweeted himself, right, with his own voice, and you could tell when it wasn't Trump tweeting, um... It still doesn't matter. I don't think he uses. I don't think he uses DMs for like uh, private conversations. He's been using Twitter for a decade. No shot, he doesn't use DMs. No, he's too old, man. I, I think he's too old. I think he is way too old to have been using DMs to communicate with people. Like, dude, remember the previous. Georgia court case that we are looking at right now. That was a phone call. Which people might, which, you know, Trump famously called the perfect phone call. I doubt that he is the type of dude to just like ask for shit via DMs. To be fair though, the major reason why I don't want those DMs to leak is because I don't want them to see all the dick pics I've sent Trump. To be fair, he asked me, and I thought it would be unpresidential. I mean, I thought it'd be unpatriotic if I didn't. Yeah, I sent this some tasteful nudes. Yeah. Whatever. What are you going to do? Not send the president of the United States of America tasteful news when he asks? Anyway, let's continue. The 34-page <laughs> opinion. It just came out. Or maybe uh, it's because his his Twitter account was canceled. Account was canceled, so well, it wasn't all. Yes, as Shan says, right, you have right, to have action. the in evidence yeah, have some right. sort of integrity to it, and so they do have to get it from Twitter itself. They can't just get it from the I internet. Right, archive. they can't just do screen. This was the other thing I was going to say. Former president averse to leaving records of his communications had long avoided text and email. I forgot this angle as well. I forgot to mention this angle as well, which is that he doesn't like note taking. 
in his legal meetings, okay? You think that man wants a paper trail? Like, he's really stupid, so paper trails do happen, right? But ultimately, I don't think he would go and... I don't think he would go out of his, out of his way to uh, leave, like, easily accessible... But he audio recorded nonstop. Yeah, I didn't say he's not a dumbass. One of the former president, uh, Donald Trump's most consistent personal traits, one that his advisors say has helped him keep, has helped keep him out of even worse legal jeopardy has been his refusal to communicate by text or email. There you go. Until now. As much as messages have recently shown up in the phones of surprise recipients, they said, former president's resi resistance to texting frustrated investigators for the House January 6th committee as they tried to track his thoughts and actions when he worked to overturn the 2020 election. You might think DMs are less traceable. No, man. He's like a fucking paranoid mob boss, dude. No shot. I don't think you would, I don't think you'd see a lot of good stuff in his DMs. Maybe. I hope. I just don't think that it would be, uh, I, I don't think there's a lot of, I don't think it's a treasure trove of data in there. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That makes sense. Public, in public statements. You're, you're, quite that in there. you're quite familiar with Donald Trump's, uh, the, the, the account formerly known as Donald Trump's Twitter account. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I still have nightmares about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously he's a prolific poster. We know that there are posts that were, you know, around January 6th, like Be There Will Be Wild, that prosecutors were very interested mm -hmm. in. It's still amusing to me the notion that they somehow thought that trying to get access to his subpoena account or to his Twitter account was what was going to make him flee because it's not like Donald Trump did not realize he was the center of a pretty hefty investigation. Yeah. And it also makes you wonder where is he going to flee to like his golf course in Scotland and then just never come back. So that strikes me as a little curious. Okay. Let's yeah, turn I'm, to also Scotland would extradite his ass so quick. It would, you know, what do you mean? what is happening in Georgia or what we believe will be happening in Georgia shortly. Uh, and that is potentially a fourth indictment. Mm -hmm. This, of course, uh, on the state level. I want to play what Donald Trump said at a campaign event in New Hampshire about this yesterday. I'm sorry, I won't be able to go to Iowa today. I won't be able to go to New Hampshire today because I'm sitting in a courtroom on bullshit because his attorney general charged me with something. I probably have another one. They say there's a young woman, uh, a young racist in Atlanta. Say racist. And this is a person that wants to... Oh, here, we got to cover this aspect of it now that we're talking about Atlanta. Trump says <laughs> that Fannie Willis was getting piped out by uh, uh, Big Nut. They waited. And I probably have another one. They say there's a young woman... Uh, a young racist in Atlanta. A racist. Young racist. And they said... By the way, anti-white racist. For those of you who don't understand, uh, Fannie Willis is black. She's a black woman. And Trump loves uh, claiming that, like, every black prosecutor is an anti-white racist. He loves calling them thugs as well. This has happened time and time again. But um, he... His... My favorite, personally, because I have had a lot of, uh, I've had smears like this thrown my way as well, um, is that, that the prosecutor's an anti-white uh, racist. Hey, I guess they say that she was after a certain gang, and she ended up having an affair with the head of the gang or a gang member, and this is a person that wants to indict me, she's got a lot of problems, <laughs> but she wants to indict me to try and run for some other office. Uh, what's going on in this country is, uh, and by the way, wants to indict me for a perfect phone call. This was even better than my perfect call with Ukraine. Remember action. I love that. I love that so much. The rumor that Fulton County DA Fannie Willis has slept with the head of a local gang named Donovan Thomas, Donovan Thomas Jr. has existed for a while already. I've seen no real evidence about it, but academics repeated it a couple of months ago, uh, saying he heard it from a reliable source. Fannie Willis certainly has a personal relationship with Donovan Thomas Jr.'s mother, though. That is a fact. Which, by the way, I, 
This sentence is lasered in my mind. I've seen no real evidence about it, but academics repeated a couple months ago saying he heard it from a reliable source. What do you mean? DJ Academics famously also claimed that that uh, uh, Tory Lanez was not going to jail and that he absolutely had not shot Megan Thee Stallion despite the very obvious court case proving without a shred of doubt that he did. It's just like wild to me that there is any kind of... Uh, there's any kind of, of, of like journalistic integrity with uh, DJ academics. Like, come on, dude. He's entertaining, uh, but as wild to... Bro is devious with the misinformation. The rumor that Fulton uh, County DA Fannie Willis is slept with the head of a local gang named uh, Donovan Thomas Jr. has existed for a while already. Oh, he clipped it out of context too? Yo! That's crazy. YSL Rico updates literally says this is this is a per this is a cycle. It's like a closed loop. Do you see it? Do you see what he's doing? He literally fucking clipped it so that so that you wouldn't know where this guy got the information from when the information comes from DJ Academics. That's crazy. How is this whole thing so perfectly tailored to you specifically? I don't know. I don't understand it. This is basically, we are one step closer to Donald Trump serving a top of the hour ad break. Anytime this happens, Donald Trump running along with like rumors started by DJ academics means that we are one step closer to Donald Trump being like at the top of the hour, folks, three minute ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, this socialist tells you, you have to subscribe. Believe me, that's a First Amendment violation. He says he's a socialist. Serving three-minute ad breaks at the top of the hour? Not very socialist to me. Bye-bye. Sale Cat, thank you for the five gifted subs. Call Ken Balls, thank you for the five gifted What's OP Gladio? Thank you for the 10 gifted Gladio. They're doing Gladio to me, folks. Here's the three minute ad break now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fake news. Fat lesbian. Thank you for the five gifted. Everybody knows socialism is when you have no money. When you have tattered clothing or canned man. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Anyway, um, let's get back to the story. To indict me. She's got a lot of problems, but she wants to indict me to try and run for some other office. Bonnie Willis, he's speaking about who is African-American. Mm hmm yeah, I mean, he has called her racist before. The district attorney's office is aware of it, and they sort of brush it off until it rises to an actual threat against her, which she's been getting a lot of. And, you know, we've already seen the sort of security be ramped up around the courthouse. And we expect that she's going to start making her presentation before a grand jury next week in this sprawling investigation involving Donald Trump, involving many of his allies who tried to overturn the election in Georgia. And she's already lining up these witnesses, not because she needs new information from them. They've all testified before the special grand jury. Prosecutors know what they're going to say. But she wants them there to help craft this narrative around what actually transpired around the 2020 election, what people were doing to try to overturn it as she goes to this grand jury and asks for indictments. And Chan, obviously what her argument is going to be, assuming she indicts, is that he, the former president, then sitting president, broke state laws in Georgia. Uh, the defense is almost certainly going to say, the Trump defense, you don't have jurisdiction to do this. Do you expect it to go uh, through the federal courts, maybe even to the Supreme Court to help answer that? I think he'll certainly try to do that. Um, there's some potential procedural obstacles to that when you're trying to challenge the state court's ruling. I mean, jurisdiction courts generally always have to consider it. I don't think it's a very strong argument. I mean, mm -hmm. she's 
the Georgia prosecutor, why wouldn't she have jurisdiction over it? Uh, so I don't think that's really going to go anyplace, but that could be an argument that they'll make. Yeah, well, we're going to see all of the arguments uh, when we, we believe it's going to come soon-ish. Soon, next week. We oh, welcome God. you back to CBS. Remember, folks, the Georgia court case will most likely be televised. Just saying. State court, state criminal trials, a little bit more, a little bit different than federal courts. Federal courts, no filming. However, Democrats want to actually change that. Some have uh, made the argument that this is, uh, this is something, uh, this is information that the public needs to see. Uh, Georgia courts might be televised. Georgia courts have already said that they will perp walk them and mugshot them. 